Recursion 1 count 8. Given a non-negative integer n, compute recursively, no loops, the count of the occurrences of 8 as a digit, except that an 8 with another 8 immediately to its left counts double. So 8, 8, 1, 8 yields 4. Note that mod by time yields the rightmost digit, while divide by time remo removes the rightmost digit. Okay, so let's go over the sample cases. When we have 8, there's only one 8, so we just turn 1. When it's 8, 1, 8, there's two 8s, and there's no adjacent two pairs of 8s or adjacent 8s, so we just turn 2. When it's 8, 8, 1, 8, we return 4, because this is 1, this is 1, but because this has another 8 next to it, this is 2, and then this is 3. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so how do we solve this? So as the problem suggests, we can just keep on checking the rightmost digit. Okay, so for example, for 8, 8, 1, 8, we first check the rightmost digit, it's 8. Does it have another 8 to the right of it? No. So we will just return 1 plus the count, my bad, plus the count of 8, 8, 1. Okay, so 881. Um, we just check if it's 1, and if it's 8. The rightmost digit is 8. Of course, it's 1, so we just add 0. And then check the count of whatever is to the left of it, which is 8. 8. Okay, so 88. We check if it's 8. It is 8. Is there a 8 to the right of it? Yes. That means it count as 2. So we count it as 2, and we return whatever is to the right of it. Okay, it's 8. 8, it, it's 8. So does it have an 8 to the right of it? No. So it just counts as 1. And we're going to count 0. Of course, when it's 0, we know that there are no more 8s left because it's zero, so we just return zero. Okay, so let's implement that. If n equals zero, that's the base case, we return zero. If else, we first get the rightmost digit, which is n divided by 10. And then we divide, we remove that from n. Okay, so and then we check, is there a digit to the right of the rightmost digit? Eight as well, and the way we can do this if, is by checking if n, oh, so here it would be mod. So we'd be checking n mod 10, which would be the next rightmost digit. And if that's 8, 2, and the rightmost digit is 8, we return 2 plus the count of 8 and whatever is left with n. Similarly, if the rightmost digit is 8, And um, the digit right after that is not 8. We return 1 plus whatever is left. Finally, we return just 0 plus count 8 because the current digit would not be equal to 8. That's correct.